Uh, yes, no, maybe so. What's up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, we are going to be talking about as to whether or not you need to be good at math in order to start a career in IT. And the reason why is because I know a lot of you out there are horrible at math to the point where you can't even add zero plus zero. But after this video, you will have a clear understanding as to whether or not you need to be a subject matter expert in adding zero plus zero in order to succeed in the wonderful world of IT. So let's get into it. All right. So as you can see on the screen here, when it comes to information technology, you do not need to know math. Well, you need to know some math, but you're not, you don't have to be an expert. What I mean is I've been in IT since 2002, 18 years. I really cannot recall too many times where I actually had to utilize some math. Now, I did have to apply math when it came to subnetting, but it was really more so along the lines of just some simple addition and subtraction, nothing overly complicated, but truth be told, that was pretty much all the math that I've done in 18 years as it relates to information technology. When it comes to information systems, now understand first things first, information systems is an umbrella term and information technology is a term that falls up under the information systems umbrella. So information systems really talks about Various systems, whether they are computerized or not, that have to deal with the application of trying to derive or computate information. Information technology really focuses on technology that deals with the computation of information. But in regards to information systems, the umbrella term, you're probably going to not really be using a whole lot of math over there as well. Maybe some simple addition, subtraction, maybe some multiplication, you know, stuff you learned in elementary and middle school. I believe that's about as far as you are going to go with this. Now, when it comes to computer programming, eh, you might have to break out the math skills a little bit and kind of figure out how things are maneuvering here and there. And when it comes to the uh, computer science, oh, you're definitely going to have to utilize some math up in there. So, Let's go ahead and talk about computer programming real quick and what type of math you might need to use. So computer programming deals with programming computers, programming software applications, programming random apps here and there, whatever, right? The type of math that you might encounter, you might have to deal with some binary math, some hexadecimal numbers, numbering systems, and you know, you can think of all the wonderful colors that you see on the screen. All of that stuff is written in hex. So you might have to be able to manipulate hexadecimal in, in certain manners. You might, you might have to do some standard arithmetic and you might have to do some standard algebra. Now, I know I know a few computer programmers and I don't think any of the ones that I know actually use any real hardcore math It's basically the stuff that I just put on the screen right here. So. It's a little bit more than an IT guy, but it's not something that you're going to have to sit around here and, and start sweating bullets over as if you're about to try to prepare to take your SAT exam. It's just really some elementary style math, in my opinion, that once you learn it, you're pretty much good to go. Now, let's talk about computer science. Oh, my. So with computer science, oh, it's about to get crazy out in these streets because you have to understand computer science is actually the science of computers. So you can think of this as you're going to take a biology class or you're going to be a biology student, engineering student, you're studying to be a doctor or something else, and they have to take a lot of math classes. Well, guess what? Computer science is pretty much similar to that in that aspect, being that this is actually a real science. And this science deals with everything from Let's just talk about video games, since I know a lot of you guys are familiar with video games. When you watch a video game or you're playing Madden and you throw the ball and the ball goes downfield and the, and, the, and the guy catches the ball, well, there's a lot of mathematical equations that have to be calculated and input into the system in order for that ball to reach its target point. And some of the math that you might have to learn, depending upon what computer science you are going into with you might have to learn some math like this. So you're going to have to deal with things like calculus, 
with analytical geometry, matrices, statistical analysis, probabilities, differential equations, linear algebra, abstract algebra, design and analysis algorithms, Fourier series and partial differential equations. Oh, it's about to get ugly out in these streets, ladies and gentlemen. But if you are up for the task, you are a fan of expanding your brain, well, guess what? You'll be successful at this. If you feel like this is too much for you, and you just want to stick with your two plus twos and two times two equals four, then computer science might not be the path for you. Just regular IT or information systems and maybe even computer programming might be the path for you, but you want to take it to the next level, then computer science might be the path for you. So in a nutshell, when it comes to math and IT, it really depends upon exactly what it is that you are trying to do in IT and as to whether or not you are going to be required to utilize math on a regular basis. Now, for people that I talk to on this IT channel here, I normally just talk about entry level IT. And if you're trying to enter entry level IT to where you want to get a help desk job, and you want to eventually become a system administrator, network administrator, and maybe even venture off into cybersecurity, well, you're not going to be utilizing a whole bunch of math. So you don't really have to worry about that stuff too, too much. But everything else, especially as it relates to computer science, there might be some math in there, but especially when you get to computer science, oh, it's going to be a whole bunch of math in there. So like I said, it really depends upon what you want to do. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this. I don't think this is really a 10 minute long discussion right here. All right. So anyways, with that being said, I'll holler at you guys on the next video. Peace.